Number three. Hi, my name's Lauren DeLong and I'm the owner of York Nordic. I wanted to thank you for purchasing our Pro Series poles. They're a four section telescoping pole that's great for trekking, um, also for photographers. And I will demonstrate how to get your pole set up. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is adjust the pole for your height. And the easiest way to do that is to open up the top, there are three flip locks. Each of the flip locks are, have a hand tighten mechanism. So if they slip at all, you simply righty tighty uh, the screw back here and that will, um, that will get the tension back up so that the pole doesn't slip. So you wanna pull the pole out maybe to um, 130 centimeters is a good place to start if you're about 5'7", uh, you know, 135 if you're taller than that. So I'm gonna go to about one, 130 centimeters in that first section of pole and simply flip that lock back down. I'm gonna go to the next flip lock, flip that open, and go to the same uh, distance, 130 centimeters, just to be consistent so when I do my other pole, they match up easily. And then I'm gonna open up the last section uh, just below. You don't wanna go past the stop point. I'll open it just below that. And then I'll grab the pole towards the top where the strap is. And I'm going to tap the pole until I get to the point where my forearm is about parallel to the ground um, with my elbow into my waist. And then I'm going to tap a little bit lower than that so that my arm angle is at about 110. That's where I like my trekking poles and I'm going to simply flip that last lock closed. Um, the next thing you want to do is adjust the strap. Um, what you do is you pull the strap webbing straight out from the pole put your hand up through the bottom towards the sky and kind of wave to your friends and then you drop straight down onto the pole. That's a little bit long. You want your hand, well, it's up to you, but typically want your hand a little bit closer to this top knob. So in order to adjust the strap and make it a little bit shorter, there um, is a mechanism here that threads the strap through and you simply adjust some of the strap through there and then pull that little tab. That will make it a little bit smaller. And now if I pull it out from the grip, put my hand up from the bottom, up through the loop, wave to my friends, and then drop straight down. My hand is closer to the knob, which is where I prefer to have my hand. And I have that nice support of the webbing, which is gonna take the strain off my hand and distribute it more through the rest of my arm. So that's a great place to, to be there. Um, on the bottom of the pole, the poles come with a rubber tip. This is great if you're on pavement, any hard surface, even in the house, if you're using these poles to help you recover from joint replacement surgery or if you have a neurological condition. If you're on a surf, uh, soft, stabbable surface like sand or, or grass or even in the woods if it's a uh, soft ground, you can take this rubber tip off. You simply rotate it, twist it a little bit, and it will expose a tungsten steel tip. Now, if it's winter and you're looking to snowshoe or um, the surface is uh, soft enough that you want the pole to stop and not penetrate too far, take this snow basket, the curved area to the top, and place it over the end of the tungsten tip. There's a threaded portion here. You simply righty tighty tighten that snow basket right on the bottom. You can leave it there all year round if you're in Florida. You know, it will remind you of the snow, which is nice. And take that rubber tip, and if you want, you can put that right back on. Another key feature of the Pro Series pole is um, a feature that photographers love. These are essentially two monopods. You take this top knob at the top, lefty loosey, and that knob will come right off exposing this threaded, uh, threaded tip at the top, which is great if you have a GoPro camera, a flip phone, even um, a high density um, and a professional grade camera. And you simply rotate your camera onto there and then you're able to take pictures and use it as a monopod and adjust the height etc. Screw that back off. Be careful not to hurt your camera and then take that knob and thread it back on there and you're ready to hike. Um, I wanted to thank you again for your purchase of our Pro Series poll. Number two. Phil here with Kelty again, this time to talk to you about the Range 2.0 tracking poles. Really, 
there's no reason to stumble down the trail. Built with a twist lock length adjustment, these poles offer customized stability. While cork and extended EVA foam grips provide all day comfort. Ooh, corky. And the internal anti-shock system helps ease your descent. Built with the same reliable durability you've come to expect from Kelty. Thanks, Magic Pole Man. The Range 2.0 trekking poles will help keep you going mile after mile. Number one. Cascade Mountain Tech carbon fiber trekking poles are comprised of 100% carbon fiber on all three pole sections, making them ultra lightweight and easy to wield on all sorts of treks. Each pole features a quick flip lock for easy height adjustments and is offered with either EVA foam or cork grip handles with padded adjustable wrist straps. Each pole weighs only 7.8 ounces and is six inches collapsed to 54 inches fully extended. All of our quick lock poles also include an extended lower EVA foam grip, offering another comfortable hold point meant for going uphill. Our carbon fiber poles have a durable tungsten carbide tip and come with a bonus five-piece accessories kit, which includes rubber tip covers, rubber boot covers, snow baskets, mud baskets, and a pole clip. Once you are ready to hike, be sure to set your poles to their ideal height and lock the quick locks into place. To lock the quick locks, simply turn the thumb screw until it is somewhat difficult to close, but still able to clamp down. If you put weight on the pole and the top portion slips, you need to tighten your thumb screw even more. When you're finished using your poles, collapse them to the shortest height, tighten and clamp down your quick lock once more so it is securely in place. Check out the description for more info and latest price.